good afternoon. As you know, good evening. Sorry, it is <laughs> it's ten o'clock at night, so it's late tonight. Welcome to my daily chat. Um, this is episode number five hundred and twenty-two, and the topic today is: Do you guilt yourself of your past misdeeds? And I'll explain what that means in a moment. It's around relationships and some healing opportunities. Before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert. And I help strong, successful women attract and create balance in life, love, and, biz- and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day for the last almost two years now, I've done these talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the, Your Feminine Heart. And up, most of the time, it's 5 p.m. Pacific time, but I've been in a workshop. I'm going to say I've been busy the last few days and just finally got free after having dinner and hanging out with friends to talk tonight. So I'm doing my late night version of my 5 p.m. Pacific time broadcast at 10 p.m. So say la vie. So again, this is my daily Facebook Live called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire Your Feminine Heart. And today's episode is number 522. I've done a few of these. And the topic today is, are you still ju- are you still guilting yourself for past misdeeds? And I'm going to break that down, give you some information, and then show you some opportunities to heal and transform. So first of all, thanks for joining me. If you are here with, for the first time, thanks for being with me. Make sure you hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I go live again. Feel free to share with your friends. This is Facebook Live initially that will go onto YouTube and onto my podcast. I'll give those links at the back end, as well as some other links I might offer during this talk. I think that's all the logistics. Okay, so let's jump in, shall we? So, what I'm attempting to convey, just to give you a premise up front, is that you may be holding yourself out, holding yourself back from having amazing relationships because you're judging yourself on what happened in the past. That's what's trying about misdeeds and guilting yourself. You may be somebody, Anthony, thank you, thank you for the feedback. <laughs> keep, keep it on, keeping it on, yeah, absolutely, yes. It's, uh, I'm still kind of amazed. I'm actually just out, had dinner with friends tonight and, and had some wine, so hopefully this will be articulate and clear and concise. I've actually done very short ones the last few days because of my schedule, so I'm attempting to keep this one short, but we'll see where it goes. So yes, I got what you were saying, Anthony. So yes, thank you for (laughs) clarifying. Um, So let me speak about this. In conversations today, some in conversations today with somebody at the workshop, and I'm realizing it's very prevalent. A lot of people carry around guilt and shame from past relationship issues they faced, which will get challenging for them to move into new relationships. In fact, they maintain being single out of some guilt or. and say this self recriminating judgment that they can't have what they want because they made mistakes in the past. And I'm here to tell you that's bullshit. Literally, meaning that, not literally, but figuratively, because whatever you did in the past does not necessarily affect your present. If you do certain things, and I'll get to the certain things in a moment, but it's tempting for us to feel like somehow we've made a mistake that we can't, we don't repeat, we don't want to do it again, because if we do, we'll mess up that relationship, which is possible. We tend to do repeat the same patterns again and again. So if you've done a pattern before, you might do it again, unless you make some changes. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'll give you some, some, some guidance about that. But I'll speak to more about the guilting, shaming part. Being human has with it some challenges. <clears throat> One of those things that a lot of us carry, not everybody, but a lot of us carry, is self-judgment. And that self-judgment... Um, device, <laughs> self-flagellation device, is really something that is not required. The th- truth is, self-judgment is an indicator that you're a caring and kind person. Because people who don't care don't judge usually themselves. But if you do that, here's the thing, it's not required. Self-judgment literally is a reminder where you made a mistake and you got off course, a course correction. And if you take the right steps to course correct back again, you can elim- eliminate and alleviate these feelings of judgment and recrimination that make you feel like you can't have what you want. It actually amazes me to realize that some people carry this where they're actually so um, caught up in their past guilt trips of what they didn't do right the first time, they're not willing to jump into the next relationship because they're afraid of doing it again. And I understand how that feels. It is really, to be honest, I've done, um, <laughs> to speak personally, I've had some relationships where the same thing happened three times in a row, three different relationships, same pattern me being the common denominator, I knew I screwed up. So I had some clear um, understandings, recognitions, and thankfully homework 
to course correct and to change that paradigm so it will be out of that paradigm once and for all. It actually led me to the work I've done now. It's also led me to a bunch of teachers I've studied with and a lot of transformation in my life. So <laughs> I'll say be careful what you ask for. But I'm grateful for the path I follow because it put me where I am now. Now with two books under my belt. Yes, two books. Two books, yes. Um, I've got some stuff I can help people with. So how to change the paradigm of that past wounding, that past judgment, that past guilting of past relationships that is holding back from going forward. The key thing, of course, is to remove it. But it isn't necessarily easy to remove by just going, okay, I'm forget about it, I'll move on without it. There are many people actually go into new relationships, carrying the old, those, old, those old judgments with them and ruining the next relationship too because they're not willing to let go of it. Or I should say, they don't know how to let go of it. And this is the thing. I mean, it's very simple. If you're someone who's carrying past judgments, guilt, shame, frustrations, worries from past relationships to your next one, it's likely you're going to visit onto the new relationship those um, judgments and attitudes that happened in the past relationship into the new one because you didn't heal those stuff in between. If you're single, this is the best time to work on this stuff. And simply put, if you're carrying around that, that level of self-recrimination and self-judgment, self-blame, self etc. 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 It's time you give yourself a break. Now, one thing you can do, if you're doing certain patterns that are betraying who you are, then you want to change some of that programming and change some of the belief structures. But second thing is, you'll learn the F tool. Yes, the F tool, as I'm calling it, which is forgiveness. It's such a simple thing to talk about forgiveness, but most people don't have a clue what it means and how it works. Forgiveness, as I've talked about in other broadcasts months ago, actually, is a tool by which you can change your relationship with yourself. It's a tool by which you can actually heal your relationship with everybody because it lets you off the hook for things you may be carrying around, Ill unfortunately. See, see, the problem with guilt and self-judgment and recrimination, those sort of things, is they are devices that separate, ourselves, uh, separate us from ourselves. Forgiveness rejoins us with ourselves by allowing us to give ourselves a break and let us off the hook. Now, forgiveness is something that is actually very easy when you know how to do it. But for most people, they think they have to go to confessional or go to some other teacher or some other, some other specialist to somehow be let off the hook. Because that's what it does. Forgiveness doesn't let you off the hook of those past judgments. You can let go of them once and for all and be free. In my, with my clients, I've actually found this very useful. And I learned this stuff, I actually learned this skill at my, at my master's program at University of Santa Monica about how powerful forgiveness really is. It is the keys to unlock the gate to your freedom from a jail cell you didn't know you put yourself in. The things we do to ourselves on a belief system level or on an emotional level are sometimes so heinous we shouldn't be allowed to we shouldn't be let loose on ourselves. It's just not healthy. And by having the understanding, the awareness that what we did in the past isn't the end of the world that can be forgiven and can be released as long as we course correct, by the way, then there's nothing in the way for you to, do, nothing in the way for you to actually go ahead and do it. So what's the thing? So forgiveness, as I mentioned, is a powerful tool. It's a simple device, and the way I learned it with USM is a very effective device for allowing us to really heal those um, judgments, rules, guilt, shame, limited thinking, limited thinking, excuse me, and restraints that we put on ourselves emotionally and mentally for things we did in the past. And when we learn, when we learn how to be free of these judgments, how to be free of these, of these limitations, and how to, how to make peace with our past, then we can move on to a healthy relationship, embracing and embodying the fullness of who we are, being in loving, being creative, being joyful, being celebratory, and having an amazing relationship. If you don't make peace with those things in the past, the, the guilt, the figure, the shame, the upset, the judgments, you can only fake it so far. So here's my suggestion. If you're, if you're between relationships right now, it works really well if you're in a new relationship before you get too far in, pay attention. Um, this might just change your possibility of success. Forgiveness is a tool, is a skill, is a practice that when applied to your own self, when, you, when it's applied to your own experience, will transform your relationship with yourself. 
Forgiveness is not about letting somebody else off the hook. Let me be clear about this. There is a, there's the, the Catholic form of forgiveness is a little different, and I was actually speaking against that in a sense, because forgiveness really, when it's used applicably, is an extremely powerful tool to let yourself off the hook from anything you've done in the past. Not to give you excuses, and not to um, cheat the law, so to speak, but if you've got these judgments speaking against yourself for how you didn't have a relationship that worked ideally, then this will help you with that. And having truly an acceptance of yourself by forgiving yourself and embracing who you are, you'll start to learn how to love yourself enough to attract an amazing relationship. So two steps I'm going to give you right now. Forgiveness is something you do to yourself. Do, to yourself. do for yourself. Um, I, have, I, I give it out as, a, as one of my coaching and I can tell you how to do that. I'll give you a link to how to find out more about that. And then once you've done that, the healing of the self-forgiveness is, is amplified by applying self-love. It's like you've, you've cleaned out the wound with forgiveness and then you use self-love as a band-aid on top of the wound so it heals better. Those two things in, used in this, the right, correct order and the right way will actually transform your experience of health, self-help, self-support and self-love. And when you learn to love yourself fully again, you'll be massively available for an amazing relationship that you truly deserve and desire. Sound good? So to quickly put this together, I'm going to put some links in the comments to explain what those things are. One of them is a discovery session with me so we can talk about this more. I'm going to show you the steps for forgiveness and walk you through it, in fact, when we talk. I have, a, I have a written down version, but I think it's better if I explain it to you. So if you want to find out how to do forgiveness for yourself or past judgments, I'll leave a link in the comments to have a chat with me because we sign up and we can talk about it there and I'll give you a practice with it when we talk, my gift to you. Second thing is the self-love practice I've talked about a lot is a powerful piece of technology that's so simple, yet so elegant and so powerful that basically guides you with two guided meditations and a written guide book that will take you through the steps of self-love in the morning, self-love in the evening that will change your life completely and will allow you to be a much more attractive and a much more available partner for healthy relationships. Again, I'll put them in the comments as well afterwards. So those two links are in the comments. You can find them here on Facebook Live and also on the YouTube broadcast. I'll give you the links for those as well. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live in case you haven't figured that out. And if you have any questions, comments, please put in the comment. Please put comments in the com Please put comments in the comments below. Please write something in the comments below, and I'll answer them later on and respond to you. You can find the replays of my Facebook Lives on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. That's where you can find my business page. Please subscribe to that or like it and follow me along there. I also put them on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby is the channel, because all my, all my messages from the masculine live there. Thank you, Christian. Christina, excuse me. Thank you, Anthony, appreciate that. Yes, yeah, self-love <laughs> self after lunch. Well, if you do it in the morning, the evening, that's pretty much effective. The self-love in the morning, setting up the day the way you want it. And um, I was sent, yes, yes. Um, self-love in the evening, is gratitude, so it's based on two different paradigms, setting up the day, completing the day, so it works together. Um, again, they'll be in the comments, you can find them there. I'll post them after I sign off. So again, YouTube, so my social media is all my name. So if you go to find me on Twitter, Facebook, sorry, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, etc., etc. it's all Barry Selby. So subscribe to my channel on YouTube, which is Barry Selby, and in the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, we can find all my broadcasts. And finally, I launched my podcast, which is Barry's, which is Messages from the Masculine, excuse me. If you subscribe to Messages from the Masculine, you can get the downloads of my broadcast there. I'm slowly adding them there. They're not, they're not up to date as much as my YouTube and Facebook pages are, but I'll get you started. So I appreciate you being with me. And again, if you want to look, for the, look in the comments, I'll put it right at the top when you, when you um, watch the replay so you can find out how to talk to me and get some help and also get the self-love practice. So with that, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for being with me. Tomorrow's going to be another late broadcast because we won't get done till late in the evening, but I should be back to my normal schedule on Wednesday at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Oh, two things. Um, <laughs> tomorrow's election day. Vote. That's one. Um, two, I have posted earlier on my wall a link to a summit that I'm on right now. My interview is tomorrow. So look on my wall, find the broadcast, find the link, sign up for it there. And you can go ahead and watch the broadcast tomorrow when it goes out live on uh, the summit. It's, uh, it's called, it's called Find, Real, Find, Real, Find True Love. Find True Love is the summit, and you can sign up there. 
So with that, I thank you for watching. Thanks for being, being with us as always. If you are getting value from this, let me know. If you find value in it, share it with your friends. And uh, with that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care of yourselves. And um, take care of yourself. Yeah, that's a, that's a guideline right there. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.